Like most stories of aphasia, Hark's history began with a brain injury. My husband, Dr. Blair Justice, suffered a stroke that left him with aphasia. A neuropsychologist and professor, he was unable to speak, read, or write. We met Rick Spangler and his wife, Doris, who had also suffered a debilitating stroke. Along with Dr. Lynn Mayer, the chair of the Department of Communication Sciences and Disorders at the University of Houston, we founded HARC in early 2009. Aphasia affects approximately one in every 250 people. In Houston, we estimate that over 4,000 people are diagnosed every year. Research on neuroplasticity of the brain suggests that individuals with aphasia can continue to improve, but there are few resources available once insurance coverage expires. We're committed to advancing research to discover the best evidence-based practices for recovery from aphasia and providing resources to the community. HARC collaborates with a variety of hospitals, rehabilitation centers, social services, universities, and medical professionals to leverage a diverse program for those with aphasia. These relationships have enabled HARC to develop and participate in innovative programs and research for the benefit of our participants and their families. HARC is effective because we offer programs with supported communication and camaraderie to those with aphasia allowing them to reclaim their lives. We provide a safe environment for our participants along with emotional support and education for their families that fosters wellness and recovery. We look at quality of life and communication skills measuring social engagement and self-esteem both for participants and their families. We also track our growth with the number of participants, student volunteers, family support groups, and community outreach presentations. Only 7% of people in the world know what aphasia means. Therefore, people often don't understand what HARC does. People also don't realize how many people have aphasia or the extent to which it affects lives. Lastly, HARC is a wellness center, not a speech rehabilitation facility. In a very short time, we have grown from just a dream to the premier resource for people with aphasia in Houston. We now offer programs three days a week with a rich variety of activities and the fellowship of others who have suffered the same hardships. We're improving the quality of life for our participants and their families at a fraction of the cost of what they would pay anywhere else. And we're educating the next generation of aphasia speech and language therapists. Even though more than 100,000 Americans acquire the disorder each year, aphasia is unknown to most people. Aphasia is a very complex condition that affects everyone differently. Everyone that comes to our center must be assessed by speech and language therapists in order to determine which programs best support each individual. We must then find a way to create such programs for all of our participants at a cost ranging from $2 to $20 per day. With additional resources, we would expand the counseling component 
of our wellness and life enhancement program to provide more aphasia-trained psychotherapists. Additionally, we would develop HARC Espanol, which would meet the needs of individuals with aphasia whose primary language is Spanish. HARC would like to partner with more of the medical and social community to provide better resources. We would like to expand our reach to the large number of people with aphasia and educate the community about this condition and the potential for recovery.